Itachi had freed the allied shinobi forces from the scourge of the reanimation jutsu. Released from the bondage of the forbidden jutsu, the souls of the dead ascended one after another. However, by exploiting a secret allowing a deceased person to dispel reanimation if they knew the seal, Madara alone remained. Elsewhere, Toby had been working to revive Ten Tails in order to cast Infinite Tsukuyomi. If he succeeded, it would mean the end of the world. To thwart Toby's scheme, Naruto unleashed a ferocious assault together with Kakashi and Might Guy. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous heroes. I had a dad, a mom, an old man sage. Kids look up to heroes. I'm gonna become the best Hokage there's ever been. That's my dream, you idiot! Before you know what hit you. We'll sleep when we feel like it. And when we do, we'll dream as much as we want. I don't need your help to fall asleep. <laughs> hey, hey, there is there is there. What should we do, Kakashi? His transportation technique is similar to mine. This is still just a hypothesis, but his jutsu may be the same as my Kano. What? This is right, and we're using the same jutsu, then our eyes have to be the same, which means... Stay, Stay, take it from here! Come on! Stay, come on! Please stop! I'll send shuriken! Three of them were able to destroy Toby's mask with a coordinated attack. This is it! Who are you? Seeing Toby's true identity left Kakashi deeply shaken. Obito, is it really you? If you survived, then why didn't you? My survival doesn't matter now. But. If you truly want a reason... Because you... Let Rain die! It was Obito Uchiha. Kakashi's former friend, who was believed to be dead.
With his mask gone, there was no doubt. Madara, who had completely subdued the five Kage, joined them. The two shinobi who had incited the fourth great ninja war finally came together. Madara had once saved Obito from the brink of death during the Battle of Kanabi Bridge. Obito underwent a long, painful rehabilitation to make his return as a shinobi, but fell into a deep despair after witnessing the death of his beloved, Rin Nohara. Seeking salvation in the world of illusion, he was attracted to Madara's project, Suki no Mei, and the two began their shadowy work together. And that brings us to 16 years before the present. In order to destroy the hidden leaf, Obito had released Nine Tails from Naruto's mother, Kushina who was also a Jinchuriki. But the fourth Hokage, Minato Namakaze, rushed to the scene. Who are you? Why are you attacking the leaf? What good would it do if I told you? Anyway, you'll all be finished off in no time. There is no hope for you. Who fits that hole? And it's him. Are you Madara or Chiha? Hmm. What do you mean? Hey, bring here! Hey, bring here! You were too late for everything. What? Hey, bring here! Hey, bring here! You will die without understanding. Why are you attacking us? Hey, bring here! I suppose because I want to. And because it's part of a plan. Also, because this is war. And because I want peace. He succeeded in separating Ninetales from Obito. Contract seal? The Ninetales is no longer yours. You are worthy of your title, Fourth Hokage. Inflicting injury upon me and separating me from the Ninetales. But in the end, everything will bend to my will. Although praising Minato's skills, Obito boasted that he was the one who would rule the entire world. He then departed from the village. Within Obito's heart, there was a sense of nothingness caused by Rin's death. He no longer cared for the world, and that very feeling became the guiding principle that motivated him.
While Naruto and his comrades engaged in a deadly struggle with Obito, Sasuke revived Orochimaru using Curse Unsealing. Using Orochimaru's reanimation technique, he called back the souls of the past Hokage in order to question them about the truth. After reuniting with Itachi, Sasuke's thirst for vengeance against the Hidden Leaf had reached another level. At the same time, he decided that he had to learn more about his brother's desire to protect the village. Revived through reanimation, the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, heeded Sasuke's request and began telling the story of the founding of the Hidden Leaf. And that was a tale of discord between Hashirama and Madara. The two men structured the village by engaging in cooperation that transcended familial bounds. Over time, however, the rift between them deepened until Madara rebelled and confronted Hashirama. I have found another way until I reach the path to my true dream. I shall enjoy fighting with you. If you're a threat to my precious things, I will not let you go. What style hit you jutsu? Deep forest emergence. Summoning jutsu. My heart dances when fighting you. <laughs> Madara, you! Come on! Come! Entertain me more! Come on! Come on! Come <laughs> I think mere trees could stop me. Wait, is that? Let's see you try and stop this! Come on! <laughs> is that all you've got? <laughs> Your nerve. 
Lost your nerve. Now burn for me! Come on! Come on! What are you doing? Come on! Come on! You're coming down on you! Come on! with full force. Anything less is born. Have you gone senile, Hashirama? Come on! You're coming down on you! Tailed beast in Susano. I would say we're both plenty warmed up, wouldn't you? Indeed. Prepare, Prepare to, to fight. fight. <laughs> this is why it would never stop fighting. He's not backing down. I'll need to give all I've got. Time to find out who's stronger, Madara. Your nine tails, or my wood golem. As you wish.
battles with you, but always are different. No one else can match me blow for blow. This is what ninja battles should be like! I don't want to battle you. You're my friend. Come on. You always were blind by sentimentality. Dare to dream once in a while. Not bad, Hachirama. But this isn't over. Forget everything except for defeating the beast before me. Suicide! Not quite. Take this. I didn't make it in time. Come on. Come on. Don't struggle. Oh, yes. I stopped him. Impress me, Ashura. Do you think you would put up such a fight against my valiant tail? Unfortunately for you, however, I have more tricks where that came from. Come on! Be gone, Hashirama. Leave me no choice. Sage Art, Wood Style, Shinsu Senju, Veritable Thousand Arm Kanon. The battle will never end. But still, the ninja keep up the fight. They fight for their beliefs. To follow their own true path. To protect the village, Hashirama... After listening to this story, Sasuke asked Hashirama about the purpose of the village and the meaning of being a shinobi.
The first Hokage replied that a shinobi is one who endures. Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe another time. Sorry, Sasuke. This is it. I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village. Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Knowing the origin of Shinobi and the village, Sasuke came to a conclusion.
Soon, Ten Tails was revived. The combined might of allied shinobi forces, Sasuke, and the reanimated Minato, and other Hokage, was not enough to prevent Obito from becoming the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. Metamorphosizing into a grotesque form, Obito was now immune to all of their attacks. Minato, his former teacher, was filled with deep regret. He lamented the fact that, if only he had realized the masked man's identity 16 years ago, he could have stopped Obito and prevented Kushina's death. Obito ridiculed Minato in his sorrowful state and disparaged him for being a powerless ninja. I'm glad the Hokage was my teacher. It taught me to give up on becoming one. You weren't even able to become one. What gives you the right to make fun of a Hokage? A Hokage, like my dad. Don't you dare make fun of him! He had discerned that only attack powered by Sage Jutsu could harm Obito. Father and son united to oppose Obito in battle. Naruto, do you know what day tomorrow is? Yes, the anniversary of the day that Minato and Kushina died. Then that means tomorrow. It's my birthday. It wasn't the end at all. Because I'm in this world now. Trying to preach to me at this stage of the game? Don't you think it's too late, Sensei? You were my master. That's the hard truth. In the end, the bad walk was nothing but a total failure. I know what the truth is. More than anyone from the Hidden League. More than anyone in the world. More than Obito. You didn't make a single mistake, Dad. I know that better than anyone else. So come on. Let's go, Dad. Let's go. No matter what kind of crazy power you've acquired, we're never gonna give up. With the cooperation of Minato and other allies, Naruto struck Obito with Rasengan enhanced by Sage Jutsu. Naruto, don't overdo it! Ha! I'm fine! I wouldn't be a ninja if I couldn't take it! Why does it feel like I'm fighting with Kushina? 
Seeing their child fight with such leadership, he was filled with reassurance. Their mortal clash with Obito continued. <laughs> Although astounded by his opponent's ability to endure attacks, Naruto resolutely assailed the enemy with Sasuke's support. This world is about to die. Yet you still fight. Why? I won't let this world end. I'm gonna protect it for sure! No longer exists. Just learn to give up on them. I don't know the meaning of the words give up! We're gonna be the ones who win in the end! I was planning to send you off as an as possible, but fine. We will start! I'll send Shuriken! Here on out. Down the gate. <laughs> Time to grapple this. Be careful, Sasuke. I'll keep some distance. He isn't the same person anymore. <laughs> I see. So you still want to resist? No matter what kind of crazy power you've acquired, we're never gonna give up! Time to finish this, not at all! You lost Right to the fist! Take this! Gotcha! Gotcha! Down the trail! Gotcha! Gotcha! Hey man, I don't want to admit, but he's even more perfect than the me I keep dreaming about! I'll keep some distance! I'll keep some distance! Obito then manifested Ten Tail's final form, the Divine Tree, in order to set the stage for infinite Tsukuyomi. Just stay still! You all... withstood quite enough! <sighs> you will feel no pain. It will end in an instant. Naruto, are you done? Here I go. Again. He's going off alone again. Am I... like before? No. I won't let him go. Ever again. Wishing I had done something I didn't! Sasuke! I'm going too! <laughs> Repentance always comes too late. This is what you want? It may come too late for me, but if I let this end without doing what I need to do, then I'll really be left with nothing but regret! Why do you keep resisting? It's only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates. The fact of the matter is, your war has ended. No, it hasn't. 
Sasuke and I are still here! Let me fight. enough time to defeat you. The next attack will finish this. Yeah! We'll sleep tomorrow and dream our own dreams! This world is about to die. Right here! Let you still fight. Why? Because this is my ninja way. Stay strong and stay true to your words. That's what being a ninja means to me. Right here. Yeah! 
Don't underestimate Sasuke and me! Sword of Nunaboko, in which the strength of my will is manifested. You can no longer defeat me! Sasuke! Let's finish this! Why am I seeing that now? Then, in the world of the mind, Naruto came directly up against Obito. Witnessing the strength of the bonds between ninja, Obito began to experience a change within his heart. I... Am I? Regretting what I've done? Putting a mask on doesn't change anything. 
No matter what kind of mask you wear, you can't change what's in your heart. No matter what words you use. The fact that you're Obito Uchiha will never change. There's no meaning in that name anymore. I'm not a person anymore. I'm a guide who will lead people to the next level. The second Sage of the Six Pads! No. You're Obito Uchiha. We had the same dreams once, but now you've become the exact opposite of the Hokage! What I'm doing is no different than the job of the Hokage. In fact, I've gone a step further. I can make peace a reality. There's no reason to force yourself to walk down a dangerous path that doesn't even have an end in sight. If there were another path that was faster with a clear end, everyone would choose it. Who taught you that one path was dangerous in the beginning? You won't really know for sure until you walk down it! The Hokage is the person who walks in front of everyone and bears all the pain! There's no such thing as an easy path for someone who becomes the Hokage! Once you become one, there's no turning back! Come over to my path, as Obito Uchiha, as a ninja of the Hidden Leaf! and make up for what you've done. No, I abandoned Obito Uchiha. I'm... Stop trying to hide yourself! You're you! Stop running! Come over to our side! Second Sage of the Six Pads. I am the one who has chosen to create a world of dreams and lead everyone to peace. Hage has nothing to do with me. That isn't how you really feel. No matter what you say, you can never change how you really feel. You're really just a hidden leaf ninja who dreamed of becoming the whole Kage. You aren't just a nobody. And you aren't the Sage of the Six Pads either. Don't be afraid. Open your eyes. Look at yourself. Is this really what you wanted to become? Your dream was to become the Hokage, right? Isn't that what your friends wanted too? Rasengan! <laughs> Massive Rasengan! Remember, remember your friends! Do you think your friends wanted you to end up this way? Friends! The victor has been decided! Just wake up already! You should get it by now! I'm... Stop trying to act tough! Stop hiding yourself! You're Obito Uchiha from the Hidden Leaf Village who wanted to become the Hokage! My dad, Kakashi-sensei, and I won't abandon you! Bring it on already, you idiot! Oh! Naruto. With the weakness of his heart and his true emotions perceived by Naruto, Obito acknowledged his defeat. However, with Obito sufficiently weakened, Black Zetsu possessed his body and successfully revived Madara.
But instead of some deathly form, he fully resurrected the legendary ninja as a living person. Limbo! Border Jail! Armed with such incredible power, Madara easily bound Kurama and the other tailed beasts in chains. <laughs> Following the extraction of his tailed beast, Naruto fell unconscious. <laughs> 